many of you. I just wonder what the hell I'm doing. That many of you are trying to find things to do to keep fit. So I thought I'd do two hours around our car park next to the shop. Fully laden back bike. All my bike packing kit on. It's fully weighed up. Loaded up with water and everything else. So here we go. I don't know how far around this car park is. It's not very far. But... Oh yeah. We've got about 10 laps already, I suppose. I don't know. But yeah, we've started five minutes ago. So that's why I look still uh, reasonably enthusiastic and not tired. So we'll see how it goes. I'll give you a quick pan around actually to show you my route. around a car park on a fully laden bike packing fat bike. <laughs> what do you do on a Sunday? <laughs> We're now locked shut down with the coronavirus so this is our shop car park I'm riding around. There's nobody here, we're on our Todd. Uh, we're closed today obviously. So been here all day, we came down early, walked down, had a bit of lunch sat outside the shop pretending we're on holiday in our camper van and I just thought this afternoon I need to do some exercise I need to get out and do some miles I was going to go on the turbo but what, why the hell would I want to do that when I could be outside on the dear old bike um, right now was when I was supposed to be uh, riding to the Lake District for my first proper bike packing trip we were going to uh, 249 miles Mainly, 50% of it was off-road, it looked like, on Kamut. And um, had all the route planned, and then obviously all this virus kicked in and we're all grounded. So I've got all my bike ready, pretty fit. I was gagging to do it, but it looks like it ain't gonna happen for ages. I can't see us being allowed to do anything like that for a long, long time yet. So, um, rather than go up, break all the rules, go up in the hills with all the other people who are breaking the rules. I'm sticking to riding around near home. We live just up the road, we're only just outside where we live, so and this so the shops are where we are anyway every day. There's only us, myself and my wife here, so we live with each other so there's no real threat to anybody. No one else has been here all day so be a good place to ride around in circles. <laughs> there's, some crazy, there's some crazy things going on at the moment. People doing ultra marathons in their garden. I saw a guy on the news this morning. He's got, I think it's about 70k lap around his garden and he's going to do a marathon every day. Uh, some days he's doing double marathon. Uh, he's a guy suffering with prostate cancer. It's really inspiring to see people um, living their lives to the full. There's no reason to give up, you know, each day you wake up, see the sun out, make the most of that day, no matter what. Um, we often think, you know, we're, we, we hear people moaning about, oh god, I've got to stay in, how am I going to self-isolate for two weeks? When you think of what other people are putting up with, forget the virus. Imagine living in Syria or somewhere like that where they're bombed out of existence. All because somebody wants whatever over their lives. They've got no house, no nothing, let alone lockdown, for goodness sake. The Western world is spoiled to death. Just because we can't get on a plane and fly to a beach. Because we fancy it. We all feel hard done by. 
life's very different now. Our priorities now are food. I mean, this is the basis of life. Our priorities when we were sitting in caves was the was finding food each day. That was it. And we're back to that. <laughs> it's really ironic that we're back to just being able to find food. And of course, we don't have to go and hunt and kill it or or grow it or anything. We just go down the road and moan because we have to queue to get food that's prepared for us. We can just pick up off a shelf, pay for and go home. So yeah, it's, it's really hard for us these days. It must be. Anyway, enough of that. So I'm on uh, about 15 minutes now. So check back later, see how we're getting on. Right, just coming up to an hour. Looks like that's gonna have to do me. Hour thing last year, just about a field. We have just nipped up the road round around about back again, just to break it up a bit. But we'll know 57 minutes. done 10.8 miles that's about 130 laps of the car park <laughs> sorry yeah average speed 10.7 miles an hour sorry you couldn't get up too much speed it's too tight <laughs> <laughs> 